I'm a Michael, independent caller for Congressman Gao. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, I would like to know about the uh, what they plan to do if more oil rigs will plan to spill oil. Would they plan to do more alternative type energy plants? Well, first of all, uh, I, I know that uh, the uh, administration is, is committed uh, to our center of energy, but at the same time, uh, in order to address the, um, the needs of this country, uh, the president has said that we need a comprehensive uh, energy plan, which includes uh, offshore drilling. Uh, I've spoken with um, Secretary Salazar uh, and the president's commitment to offshore drilling uh, has not uh, has not been compromised uh, because of this accident. Uh, but obviously, uh, we have to look at better ways to uh, to to drill offshore and 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 the safe and safer ways to drill offshore. Plenty of stories and papers today with different angles on all of this. Congressman Baltimore's son points out that the Pentagon is okaying 17,500 guard troops to aid uh, four Gulf states. Um, what would guard troops uh, be doing in your particular uh, district, do you think? Uh, oh, I would say, uh, I would hope that they will be involved uh, in the cleanup. Uh, but at the same time, um, I guess the troops would be placed strategically so that uh, in the event of an emergency, we have the necessary force there uh, to, uh, to to help with security and to help with a number of issues that uh, that we will be facing. By the way, the Sun has this headline as well. They're calling it SOAP. Soap for spill disbursements or for spill uh, aims to limit the shore damage. These dispersants break up crude to sink in deep water with uh, less effect. They point out that these oil dispersants being used in the Gulf spill may help destroy the oil a little faster, but their primary purpose is to alter its destination so the oil stays deep in the ocean rather than uh, reaching the shore, one of the other potential responses. you know anything about that part of it? Well, I I have we've been uh, we've been brief with respect to the dispersants. One of the main concerns that come out of this is the environmental impact uh, on the uh, uh, on the Gulf, um, because uh, stories have been uh, shown uh, that uh, with the situation in Alaska, it costs a certain environmental issues uh, to to humans as well as to animals. Uh, and that are some of the concerns that the people are, are conveying to me, uh, the, that the use of the dispersants will somehow uh, affect the environment as well as uh, the health um, of people and, and, and of animals. And uh, we've been uh, assured by, uh, by BP as well as by uh, some of the people who know of the chemical makeup of this uh, uh, of, of the dispersants, and they say that the impact will be minimal, but at the same time, uh, people are rightly uh, concerned. Fort Myers, Florida. Chris, you are on the Republican line. Fort Myers uh, in the Gulf uh, area there, of course. Uh, what are the folks thinking, hearing, um, worrying about, if anything, right now? Well, mostly is they're worrying about, you know, tourists. You know, the tourist impact. Mm -hmm. But the question I wanted to ask, he just mentioned... Uh, there's another question, but this, he just mentioned security down there. What do you need security for when when people are trying to help? I don't I don't understand why you need 1,700 troops to come down there when when uh, you know. As far as I know, I used to live on the bayou for 13 years, and and uh, all the people that I know down there want to get out there and try to help. You know, yeah. nobody's allowing them to do that. Article, by the way, says 17,000, 17,500 troops to the four states. But go ahead and answer the call if you could. Well, uh, obviously, uh, there will be a number of issues that we have to contend with, uh, cleanup, uh, prevention, uh, as well as, uh, as security. Uh, when you have uh, people who are fearful, people who are angry, uh, people who are losing their jobs, uh, businesses that will be affected, uh, then the issue of security might arise. Um, so I'm pretty sure that much of the federal response will be focused on recovery and prevention. Uh, but at the same time, we have to look at all of the issues. Uh, and obviously, uh, security would be one of them. Memphis, Tennessee, Rose, Democrat, good morning to you. 
Hi, thank you, Steve Spann. Sure. Congressman, uh, I heard about a year ago at least, and uh, MIT announced that they had a product that would soil but would not uh, absorb water. And uh, the inventor said that he he had taken his um, uh, inspiration from the lily pad and that this product could be used uh, and then the oil could be uh, just virtually wrung out of this and re and and used. Thanks. Do you know anything about that? Uh, I this is my uh, first time hearing it, but uh, I will look into it and uh, if there is a product out uh, out there that will address the oil spill safely uh, for the environment. Uh, then obviously we will be pushing for it. So as we sit here in Washington, Congressman, what's the most important legislative action that could happen right now, if anything? I believe that the most important legislative action that could happen right now is to, one, make sure that BP's liability will not be limited at $75 million because there are some rumors that uh, that the liability of BP will be capped at $75 million. Let me jump in on that point, Congressman. The Financial Times has that story, and they say the president is backing a call to raise the cap on liabilities. This is a law that, that's been in place for quite a while, $75 million. The, the number they're throwing out there is $10 billion. <laughs> Can they pass a law that's retroactive to this particular oil spill? Well, um, you know, with Congress, uh, we can do almost anything if we have the will to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure with the impact of this oil spill, uh, there will be the political will uh, to pass a law uh, that will be retroactive back to this oil spill. Now, the second issue that we have to push for is the acceleration of the uh, revenue sharing for Louisiana, because we will need uh, all of the money uh, that will be available uh, from tax revenues as well as from profit to revenue sharing uh, in order for our code, in order to restore our ecosystem, in order to uh, restore our economy, uh, which will be impacted because of this bill. So the U.S. Congress would need to approve a revenue sharing plan for Louisiana? Well, Congress has already approved mm -hmm. a revenue sharing plan. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's at 37.5%, mm -hmm. which is even lower than some of the right. other states. Right. But it will not kick in until, I believe, 2016 or 2017. Ah. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at uh, six, six more years down the road. And right now, uh, our, our, our coasts have been uh, deteriorating, have been impacted because of the offshore drilling, as well as some of the uh, other environmental issues related to offshore drilling. Uh, and I believe that we need the revenue sharing now uh, to allow us uh, to rebuild our coast. Not only is it beneficial for, for the economy as well, as well as for the environment, it will also provide a barrier for hurricane protection. Um, what choice do we have? Here's a Twitter message before we get back to calls for the congressman. There's nothing in the Constitution about the federal government cleaning up oil spills. Tenth Amendment, they write, states' rights. You know, there, there, is, in, there is not in the Constitution for, uh, for many things. But I believe that we as a government, we have a role uh, to address uh, the needs of the people. Uh, we, uh, we have a role in order to make people's lives more secure. Uh, so we can always interpret the Constitution in ways that might get the government more involved or less involved. But at the end of the day, the moral issue is what is the role of the government? And I believe that the role of the government is to ensure that people's lives are protected, people's lives are secure, uh, that those who are responsible in the breaching uh, of, of the livelihood of people will be held accountable. Back to the phones. Uh, Shelley